e-commerce has picked up at an exponential rate. There's a lot of emphasis on last mile delivery and uh, statistics show that last mile delivery accounts for 53% of the delivery cost. So what are you and your respective companies doing to address those new challenges that have come as a result of the pandemic? We're seeing a, a huge influx on last mile delivery, the importance of that, uh, in particular from the getting product to the consumer in a, an efficient manner. A lot of cases you'll see uh, where companies are going out hiring uh, independent companies to come in and help uh, deliver some of these products. Amazon's a great uh, example of that. Along with that, though, is reverse uh, logistics that comes with that. There's a there's a big push in trying to capture that uh, that loss. We as manufacturers and partners uh, to our customers, we have to figure out how to make uh, workforces more efficient, right, and how to you know, basically do more with less and use the tools to their, you know, capabilities. Two things comes to mind as it relates to Samsung and what we're doing both on the product development side and the customer engagement side. On the customer engagement side, um, we have to be very consultive in our approach for how we're actually working with customers, right? Yes, we're walking in there and trying to lead with, you know, really modern and market leading hardware, but we're very focused on having conversations about solutionizing the experience for them. So we are doing a real good job of increasing processing, memory power, and sort of the ruggedization of these tablets to make sure that, and we're putting more demands on these tablets with more intense and, and, and uh, software applications, right? We're able to handle that workload. Last mile delivery is gonna really change a lot of things within these large or cities and organizations because it's going to affect more than just delivering products. You know, I, I heard a statistic that by 2030, if things don't become more autonomous or we're not using drones for that delivery process, there's going to be 30% more traffic on the roads strictly due to the last mile delivery drivers out there um, delivering products. Yeah, and in, in today's world, right, uh, there's so much data and information available to collect. We're only scratching the surface of what we could actually do with that data when we can collect it, right? So. There'll be, you know, improvements and, um, you know, advances made in big data and analytics and how we use analytics in last mile delivery and transportation logistics as we move on in time. It's, you know, we're in the very early stages of it. And, and even us as manufacturers, we can't, we don't have all the answers, right? We work with our partners like TRG, or excuse get to really uh, work together and, can, you know, under, uncover some of these, these problems, even sometimes the end user the customer doesn't even know some of these problems. And we help them uncover these from the consultative part that you brought up here. Yeah, there's so many ancillary services that take place, you know, outside of the both hardware and software experience. And if you look at all those ancillary services and what TRG does, it's a really good fit for you guys to really package all this stuff up together, right? And, 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 and present a sort of like single solution, right? On behalf of all the parties, because really that's sort of the glue, right? That's sort of the glue that brings it all together. Uh, and makes it a really positive experience for the customer. A whole solution-ready platform wrapped around a managed service program at post-sale support and things like that. That's where TRG can really shine and, you know, we would love to be a part of it. Yeah.